All right, let's get this bad boy up, see what happens. Ah, that one was close. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we've got Thunder. We are very, very close to the end of this steady to wing shot and fall training. What we're moving to today is killing birds over him. All right, this will be the first time that he's had birds shot over him. The expectation is that he should be steady. I expect to see a few things happen. First of all, it's hard. That first bird coming down is going to be challenging and I expect him to make a mistake. We'll show you how and what we're doing to handle him with that. Next, there's a little bit of wind today, so you probably get to watch me miss one or two, but ultimately we have worked through stopping to flush, stopping to shot, or standing, then stopping, then you've watched him point birds and watch the flyaways. We've incorporated gunfire in with that, as well as running him with another dog, all with flyaways. This will be the first day that you get to watch birds come down, follow along. All right, so we've got him back here. You can see him all right now. We're set up here. This launcher is a good 10, 15 feet ahead of him. Good distance, this is all fine. Um, wind coming kind of this way. I'm guessing that bird's gonna pop up and try and cut back this way. So I'm gonna set myself up over here. These are all things you need to be thinking when you're working through with your dog. Also putting myself here in a position where he can see me, this is gonna help make this transition easier. Launcher number one. No! Good. There's the mistake. Ah! That was all verbal correction. And if we can get away with that, and that's all he needs, that's where we want to stay. We need to be able to handle verbally. Ah! There was a correction on his belly, okay? Stimulation on the collar said stand still. He had decided there, with this chit-chat, everything else that's going on, he went... This is over. I made a mistake. I'm not going to get that bird, but maybe I should come back and check things out. That's a cooperation thing. That's his personality. What I'm going to do though is come down, um, pick this bird up. Sam, you can go ahead and reset for us, and then we'll move on to the next bird. When we get done here, I will heal him away. He's going to stand still while I complete this retrieve myself. I'm ready with the collar to make a correction if I need to. Whoa. Whoa, heal, good, good boy. No, heal. This guy is ready to rock and roll. Slow it down for him here as we get out of this. Come on. All right guys, so Thunder is and has been his entire life a really strong retriever. So what I was talking about, this is gonna make um, this portion difficult. Now, anytime we're in training for steady wing shot and fall stuff, we're typically moving toward the direction of testing. We've mentioned that before. What we're gonna be doing here is allowing him to kind of breathe this in, slow the process down. There's gonna be a lot of times where he's gonna have to stand and the more we can kind of allow him to take that deep breath, the better chance he's gonna have to be able to stand for us. Now, as we move in on this, I expect it to be difficult for him again. I'm not gonna coach him ahead of time. He knows he's supposed to stand there. We're just going to handle him if he makes a mistake. Again, attempting verbal, but I've got my collar set on his belly. If he continues, if he blows me off verbally, if he makes a mistake here, I will stop him with the belly collar. or it's not cooperating exactly. Whoa. Okay, again, mistake. He moved as soon as he saw that bird go down up here. But again, I was able to stop him with a simple, whoa. That means he's got a good handle on this. It's gonna take a few reps, but I know he has enough desire to retrieve that taking these retrieves away at this point isn't gonna hurt anything. Now, if you have a dog that struggles to retrieve, kind of lacks desire, and they're in this category where they're breaking a little bit, him handling that way, this is a kind of a gray area with training, making decisions, all right? I would say 
you handled that pretty well, I might send you to go make that retrieve and then we'll prepare better next time. Super strong retriever, that's gonna be difficult for him. We're, not, we're gonna take these away until he does it right. Whoa. All right, I'll come back in here. We're gonna try and prevent him from anticipating. I'm gonna release him. Uh, 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 right there, he's ready. Whoa, no, stand up, stand up. Good, he's ready to heal. He needs to listen, heal, good. All right, so we're gonna move here in on bird number three. He hit this one a little bit closer, but he's had two big hops. He's been pretty easy to stop though in those situations. And I feel like honestly, if I reminded him by saying the W word, hitting him with the collar as a, hey, stand still before we moved in, he'd probably do a little better. But it's always, we wanna to continue to challenge as much as possible without asking too much. Here in this situation that he's making a mistake but he's handleable, that says to me, we're on the right path. We, he's gonna get better. We'll keep working him. Bird number three is gonna go up. It's important though to keep these things slowed down. Um, dogs are really good at uh, timing and schedules and anticipating things. So if we move right in, flush the bird, shoot in exactly the same amount of time it takes to pull up and shoot, all of those things dogs start to anticipate and they know this is the pattern that I am going to be working on. So we have to change things up as much as possible. Like even this here, right? I'm flushing, not where he says that bird is. I know where the bird is. You know where the bird is when you set your course too. You put the launchers out there, right? Is the bird up here in this bush? Absolutely not, it's not. But when you're hunting birds or you're in a test or another environment, you don't know. Is the bird here? No? Oh, hey, there's the bird. All right, let's get this bad boy up. See what happens. Ah, that one was close. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he hesitated. He made a movement, he hesitated. He tried a small movement again, and I gave him the ah, which was the babiest correction yet. And just because I wanna see if he can remember this now, whoa, we're gonna go ahead and send him. Thunder. Now, we'll have to make an evaluation here, okay? He works in there, he's gonna find this bird right about there. Oh, not quite. He's gotta cut a little farther. Right. Come on, turtle. Right there, a boy. Okay, so these will be the evaluations that have to be made going forward, heel. Um, we need to, uh, uh, Good. He got a retrieve. Overall, this is a pretty good session. No. Heal. No. Heal. Ah. Heal. Heal. Good. Pumped. Excited. Right? This is normal. It's probably one of the most common things that we hear from people at finishing retrieves. It's a problem, right? You saw him do it. I took the bird from him. He jumped for it. He's excited. He wants to, he wants to have that bird in his mouth. He's a bird dog. These are all things that are important. Um, all I did there was I didn't dance it around up here for him to chase. I grabbed it. I put it in my bag, said no as a correction, heal. Then we had to work through it a little bit, had to remind him with the collar. He was excited about that. It's all okay, but there's a few things that we have to do. Now, he got a retrieve. I would guess his next session, this is the end of it for today. His next session, he'll probably be sloppier in the beginning, and we may be able to work up to where he's 90-ish percent steady, and he gets another retrieve. But we have to balance that out. If he gets really sloppy, we're gonna have to withhold a few more retrieves, but now I have a few things that I can work on as well. That jumping around stuff. I need to anticipate it's gonna happen and prepare for that. All in all though, 
he is ready to continue moving forward. We always talk about with each step, how do we know if we're ready for the next step or not? If he's handleable, he needs to continue. The next step for him will just be shooting some more birds over him this way, and then we will incorporate additional distraction by adding a second dog in the field. That requires him to stand steady through that dog backing. We'll show you what that stuff looks like here, but his next few sessions, they'll look just like this. New areas that will set up our course, and we'll be killing birds over him, sending him for retrieves when he does a good job, and moving one step closer to being a master hunter. Thanks guys for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Thunder. We will see you in his next video. Thank <laughs> you.